are going to read Flint and Friends the case of missing eggs. Mm -hmm. Mia the toucan was very happy. The eggs that she laid a couple of weeks ago were about to hatch and all her friends were coming over for the birthday party. She placed her nest in the center of the table and admired her six unhatched eggs. Just then... And It was Flinto the octopus outside her door. Flinto, the party is not for another few hours, said Mia. Oh, I know. Preparing for a party is a lot of work. So I thought I would help you out, replied Flinto. That is so sweet of you. They can, you can start by arranging the table, she instructed. As he set the table, Flinto noticed that Mia had only two chairs. But she had also invited Bobo the elephant, Binzi the monkey, so cut the elephant. and Mo the rabbit. See, me the cat also. Mia, he called out. You have only two chairs, but you have four guests. Oh my, you are right. What will I do now? She asked in panic. Let's quickly go to the shop and pick up some more chairs, said Flindo. So to the market they went. On their way back, they met Bobo, Binzi and Mo. Along with them was also a cat. This is my friend Fifi, said Binzi, introducing the cat. I wish you had told me that you were bringing a friend along. I would have bought more chairs, Mia told the Binzi. She was worried that all her guests might not have seats. Don't worry, I'll make myself comfortable, assured Fifi. Soon the party began. A toast said Bobo, lifting his juice glass to Mia and her six eggs. Six, but there are only it's four. Ah, chicks. Said Mo, surprised. Panic arose and everyone started looking around them for the eggs. Mia started crying. Who stole my eggs? She asked, looking around the room. We would never do that, Mia. We love you. Besides, we are herbivores, said Mo. Herbivores. Eating only vegetables without eating eggs. At the same time, Flinto turned to Fifi. Can you stand up? He asked her. Me? I am a guest here. I would never eat Mia's eggs, cried Fifi, standing up as he stood up. Everyone could see pieces of broken shells where she had been sitting. How could you? I want you to leave my house right now, cried Mia. Mia, everyone stay still, shouted Flinto before disappearing under the table. A few seconds later, Flinto resurfaced, holding two small cheeks in his tentacles. Everybody let out a cry of relief. They must have hatched early. And rolled off from the nest, explained Finto. I am terribly sorry for thinking you ate my eggs, Fifi. I should have thought before accusing you, apologized Mia. That's okay. Everyone makes mistakes, said Fifi with a smile. Just then, the remaining eggs started to hatch and soon the room was filled with eager chirps of young birds.